I heard someone call you the judge today when you stood up to ask a question after their uh, presentation. As long as I'm not the executioner. <laughs> Give me your thoughts on uh, Atlas and long-term uh, tamoxifen. So, it, what, it was very interesting giving five extra years of tamoxifen, right, between years six and ten after local treatment was good, but it didn't help until the eleventh year. What does that mean? If you're a woman who's had five years of tamoxifen, mm -hmm. you don't want to take another five right now. You want to get an aromatase inhibitor right. that has about a 50 or 60 percent reduction in risk of recurrence from between years six and ten. And maybe then we ought to give tamoxifen for another five years. Mm -hmm. You know what? what? No one is studying it. No one. There are four international studies looking at prolonged endocrine therapy. Mm -hmm. Each of them is studying more aromatase inhibitor. None of them is studying tamoxifen. None of them is studying Fasildex. None of them is studying progesterone. Isn't that too bad? Well, who's, why is everybody not, uh, why isn't everybody jumping on the tamoxifen bandwagon? Uh, well, first of all, there's no drug company making money from it. If there's no drug company making money for it, no one's paying anyone to study it. So who's going to pay to study it? Maybe the ladies, maybe the advocates, but it's a lot of money. And these are studies that go on, need lar these ladies by and large do pretty well. Mm -hmm. So you need large numbers of ladies to detect the difference, mm -hmm. and you need a lot of follow-up. So you need young doctors to start it. So they're still alive when the study's finished. <laughs> so are you going to be doing one of these? I'm too old. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>